My name's Matt and I'm with Salty Alaska. We decided to try something new. My brother's up visiting me and he is a uh, science, computer science major getting his bachelor's degree. He's almost finished. So he's had quite a few classes with AI and hasn't done much fishing at all. And so um, I asked him to design a fishing, a halibut fishing jig using AI. And uh, this is what we came up with. And so we thought we'd just run everyone through the process. So JJ, do you want to explain a little how you did it? Uh, yeah, so basically I uh, asked ChatGPT, which is uh, OpenAI's uh, text chatbot, I asked ChatGPT what makes a good fishing lure, and it gave us a few few different things. So it needs to be uh, phosphorescent, so it has to glow in the dark, which all of these pieces do. Uh, it has to look sort of like a fish or a squid, and it has to uh, has to have hooks on it. <laughs> right. Um, and then uh, using that information, I asked Dolly, which is OpenAI's image generating AI for a picture of a, a fishing lure and it gave us something that looked a lot like this and so we 3D printed this and uh, we'll see how it does. Yeah I have their original picture behind us here on our magic screen and uh, I think this is a pretty good representation of what the dolly, it's the best that we could do I mean it uh, I think it's supposed to look sort of like a salmon. I, I don't know what it was thinking, if you can even call AI thinking. But it'll be fascinating to see if it works. They also rec the AI recommended a, a light, didn't it? Yeah, it also And so this light. has a uh, LED in here for the eyeball. And if you activate it, like if you put it in water, it'll turn on and blink. And it also, um, it'll rattle. There's weight inside here that rattles. And there's a cavity here that we can put um, herring oil in, or salmon oil as a scent to attract it. There's some small holes in it. I don't know how that's gonna work. Was that a feature that the AI recommended or was that my idea? I think it had recommended scent. It did not recommend the bite here. That was oh, an extra okay. feature. Yeah, yeah, that, that was uh, not AI's recommendation. I, I actually added it to the um, to the jig, just I was just fooling around and I forgot to take it away. And then after, it took two days to print because it's a multi-color print on the carbon, or Bamboo, Bamboo Labs Carbon X1, whatever it's called. But anyway, it takes four colors and it, as a result, it was a uh, almost a two day print. After it printed, I realized it said bite here and I didn't feel like reprinting it. So I don't think the fish will mind. So this is, Printed in PLA, so I have glue. I'm going to glue them together around this cable here, and I'm going to put this light. I have an indentation in here, so this light will fit in there. This will get glued around it, and uh, then it'll it'll blink. I'm gonna put put this like this and then twist it around a bit and fasten it. There we go. Look at that. I think I can say without a doubt, this is the ugliest jig I've ever saw. I think it looks like something out of Lord of the Rings like that the orcs would carry. So any other thoughts? Um, it looks white on here, even though on the AI picture it's different colors. That's because this glows in different colors. So like this thing here will glow orange, but it looks white. All right, hit the lights.
There you can see our glow in the dark action. So we're going to take this jig out and we are going to try and catch some halibut. We're going to go out and cook inlet, hopefully the barren islands, but that's highly dependent on weather. We're going to take my boat, which is also behind us here, a 28 foot raider, and we're going to go catch halibut or whatever else bites it. We might catch lingcod or uh, who knows. When you go out and cook inlet in the salt water, you never know. We might catch an octopus, uh, a, a, a ray, uh, it's just anything. So it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. So we'll be trying this out. So stay tuned for the future video on performance data.